Welcome everyone. This is Jenkins in for team meeting. It's the 19th of July. Thanks everyone for being here. Um, let's proceed. We've got topics on the agenda. We've got announcements, upcoming calendar, and then notes from things that are done. Thanks to Hervé for generating that done and work in progress automatically. We love automation. Thanks very much. Any other topics that need to be on the agenda other than the topics that we've already got? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Then let's go ahead. So by way of announcements, uh, I had the note that Weekly has been released today. The release checklist is almost complete. Uh, I've got to check that the MSI file installs, everything else passed, Docker images have been generated, et cetera. Second announcement, the, the release team. So Tim Jacoma sent the message inviting uh, people who are interested if they would like to be the Jenkins 2.346.3 release lead. It's a good experience to be a release lead. I don't know why Google Groups is not responding, but uh, if you're interested, uh, just reply to that message that's linked there. So upcoming calendar, this is a response to our, um, to be sure that we rem remember what's happening. 2.361 uh, next week, next Tuesday, uh, next LTS is, let's be sure that we have the calendar correctly, July the, Okay, the RC release candidate 2.346.3 RC on July 27, 2.346.3 release um, on August 10, is that correct? Yes, August 10. And next security release has not been announced, or has it, not that I know of. Uh, so I'll have to check that next major event, uh, scale 19x, but that's not really relevant to, so that's all that I had. Any other upcoming calendar items that we need to be aware of? Not that I know, but I, I thought the security release were, were not uh, publicly announced. There, there is a, they will give an advisor, they will give a pre-announcement a relatively few days before. Okay. And, and so once they've announced it, uh, something publicly, then we will state it here as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Other topics then, notes. So I'm not sure how we'd like to handle the various done. Are there items that you'd like to highlight on the, the, the backlog that's complete? I think this is a really great presentation because each of these links to the thing, right? So when I go here, oh, come on, there it is. Here's that ticket and I can read it in detail. Any, any of these done items that you'd like to describe or, or tell, say more about? Um, maybe we should took them by, by order, no? Okay. I think uh, uh, they canceled those uh, um, removing embeddable bit statue plugin because you you took uh, the the lead on those on that plugin, so it's it's not uh, uh, it doesn't have to be removed anymore. If right. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, that's what I understand, and that also lets us avoid this self-hosted shield.io instance. So that's a that's a positive. Yeah. I have uh, no clue of what is archive analysis test plugin. So I think this is just a plugin that had had reached end of its useless life, use, useful life, and so it was turned to read only. Okay. Have is trying to talk, but we don't hear you, Hervé. I think they they renewed the the token for Jenkins. Uh, on digital ocean. Okay. If, you, right. if you click, you will probably be able to have more information. But um, yeah, and I I wasn't worried about the details there. I think yeah, okay. if people are interested, they can certainly follow through the details. Are there any of these that are of of significant note that we should we should 
look at them and say, oh, here was something that others should be aware? Um, the fact that for the upgrade or to current test 1.22, we, we had um, a problem with the um, secret namespace, but I think we talked about that last week. Oh, um, good. So, so it's done. We uh, we uh, had to prepare for the one point twenty three. So, so I'm, not, I'm not even sure that we really need to talk about that today. So okay. uh, no, I think everything done is uh, self explanatory. Excellent. Okay. Any specific items on the work in progress that you'd like to highlight? So I've got one. I can. I can talk to this one. I've not yet done the system 390 upgrade. So we don't have a system 390 agent yet on ci.jenkins.io. It's not a big task. It, I've just been busy with other things. Okay. It's not, not have any negative impact on any actual tasks that that ci.jenkins.io does. So it's it's a harmless thing. It just, we like to have the agent available so that we can use it for integration tests and automation. Okay, I can talk about the, the, the one below uh, about the, the migration. We are starting to work on the uh, puppet side of it with the um, mounting of the LVM volumes and dealing with that. And this is bringing us to the puppet problem of uh, updating uh, a gem for LVM and updating the agent on some of, of the machine. Uh, so I think it's mixing with other um, Good. Um, side project in, the, in that uh, milestone. Okay. And, and this, it's great that I'm, I've been managing infrastructure as one-offs, Puppet is automation. That's much, much better. Great. Thank well, you. That's good. And uh, I think it's, it's uh, a little uh, on the side of a Puppet upgrade campaign to latest 6.0. X. We right because this crossed. this is a highlight that there are we're running an older version of of six. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Before before dealing with this one, we need to uh, uh, um, apply all the update of the LVM uh, gem file and check every agent to make sure we're ready to go with this one. So. This one will have to go on the next milestone. Which makes makes sense. Good. All right. Let me change that. Yeah, go ahead. I will take care of moving the not finished uh, task to the next milestone. OK. And then we've got a, a, a table here of new items. So I have not looked at these. Are there? there any of these that we need to highlight here for the group? Hmm. I'm sorry, but um... so I don't. As I as I scan through these, I don't see any major items that I think would be a risk. We certainly want build agent. Uh, no. Yes, we can. Everybody, go ahead. So the new important uh, issues are. Oof, we don't hear you anymore. So Hervé, sorry, we lost you again. Oh, he, he put some message on, on the discussion. Archive repository, the OKS token OK. Can skip the done for can happen to it's almost done explanation in the pair on Datadog repo. Ah, good. Okay. Ah, yes. So he was advising skip the done. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, very... Good. Thank you. Yeah, I was just looking. Are there any things in this that are potentially hot or important? And for instance, this weekly release build does not resume. That one's a general problem tied to pipelines sometimes not resuming. And, and so that's being worked on, on the Jenkins, Jenkins plugin level, not something that infrastructure. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I this key cloak one worries me, but I assume it's been open. It's been open for a while, so it's not clear. Um, on, on that part, I think that Hervé just did something with Datadog to uh, check if the uh, process of logging is working. So I think he, he just had a Datadog test that okay. use a uh, um, specific user for Datadog that log in the key clock and, and, and do the full login path to check if, if key clock is responding. So I think it's brand new, it just did that. Great, okay, so that's, that's, and it's that's just work in code. progress. So it's awesome, it did that right. with uh, Terraform. Okay, and then this migrate blue ocean remaining jobs, that one seems like it could be a major effort just because this is a, these are jobs that previously I think we did not manage. So, okay, but, Damien, it looks like, is working with Olivier Lamy on it. Sorry, any any know. other topics we should review here today? I don't think so. All right, then I suggest let's call ourselves done for today. I'll stop the recording. Thanks very much. Thank you.